Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios, back again with another vlog. Today's vlog is number 30, and straight off the top, straight off the top, I hope everyone's off to a positive and productive week. As I'm shooting this video, it is actually Labor Day, and so let's give a, uh, um, a definitely a round of applause for the working class, you know, and, and in this time of COVID, let's thank those who are essential workers who are helping us through this crazy time and those on the front line you know helping those in most need the ones that are getting sick and those ones are ending up in the hospital so thank you very much as i'm starting my week off right and trying to build that momentum that's going to help me get through the rest of the week i i know sometimes when we're searching the internet and we find these people that you know look like they can help us with internet gurus you know with motivation and certain things they have newsletters and they you know you can sign up for the newsletter with just placing your email within their funnel and a lot of times they give you some good content a lot of times it's maybe not so good content but one of the people that I've always followed uh, I think I've followed him since I saw him his articles posted on inter, uh, entrepreneurmagazine.com and his name is Daniel Di Piazza um, I actually bought, bought his book and uh, he also reckoned another book um, which is more about financing and how to kind of you know work build a workflow in my mailbox today I got one of his uh, newer newsletters and it was talking about a book that I've also read which is by Stephen Pressfield which is the war of art you know I was drawn to that book because it's about creative about creative work creative but it's it can also apply to anybody that has like a vision that has a dream and has something that they want to be able to create with their life and in that book he talks about re resistance and so in this email Daniel stops talking about resistance as well and how that can be a thing that um, motivates and also a thing that hinders it's just on the, based on the way you look at look at it so give you a quick example for example one example of what resistance would look like would be like say for example you put it in your mind that you want to start getting up early you set your alarm clock and you're ready to go the alarm goes off but you still don't wake up you hit the snooze button you know what I'm saying that moment of decision of whether you should get up or not get up that's kind of resistance that's what resistance would feel like you know um, the same thing would be an idea comes to you and the moment it comes to you feel really empowered really uh, uh, wanting to get after it but for whatever reason you start having some self-talk that talks you out of it you know it's, you're, you start to believe that the idea is not as good uh, you couldn't do it on your own you know all these things that's resistance these are examples of resistance and these would be a resistance that's within you you know another example that he talks about um, would be resistance would be external resistance resistance that in a sense comes from somebody else for example you share that same great idea you're motivated about it you know what I'm saying you're motivated about it and you want to go and get it and you want to do it but then maybe you talk to your parents about it and based on their point of view they give you a response that in a sense puts a damper on your fire you know what I'm saying it puts a damper on your fire and you start to lose that motivation to go after it um, another example would be maybe it was a friend that does the same thing you know you share with them an opportunity and they give you a response that keeps you from wanting um, to follow through with it those are those are examples of internal and external resistance as he talks about in this newsletter which is also in the Pressville book which goes deeper but at the same time when you get to the point where you're facing resistance and you're overcoming it on a regular basis you're building momentum that's going to keep take you to a place where whenever you do face resistance you're going to overcome it because each step that you take each resistance that you're ever able to overcome is going to build that momentum that's going to make you like a train you know what I'm saying make you like a train in the sense that what stops a train not much really right not much can really stop a train so that's how resistance in a sense 
can help you overcome things. So based on what he was sharing in this newsletter, he was showing you how resistance can help you in the sense in the long run if you're willing to do what it takes to overcome it. You know what I'm saying? And so having read that book, I kind of, you know, I just kind of really got excited about it because I remembered what was in each of those books and how important they were in helping me get to this point and helping me realize that as much as an idea to me may sound crazy, the feeling that I may get that's telling me I shouldn't do it is not the feeling that I really want. That's the feeling that's keeping me from the other side. And as much as the idea may be crazy, you know, outrageous, uh, something that maybe no one's ever done, that's more of an incentive to go and do it, to prove to yourself and the world and those around you that you can do it, that you can make it. You know, and and you know, I know a lot of people don't have, you know, good people in their corner or good friends and family um, backing them up, and that makes it difficult when you have to face it alone because it can be a lonely journey. And I think through the process of, if you are faced with the process of being the only one believing in your dream, I think in the long run you'll be that much more of a bigger person. Uh, 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 a well-rounded person if you go it alone. Obviously some journeys you do need some assistance and the hope is always that you will find those people on or along your journey so that they can help you get to that next level. But if you're not facing level one resistance it's going to be a long journey because you're not going to be able to build that momentum that's going to help you take down the next level of resistance or the next level of resistance you know what I'm saying it's all in the process and so the earlier you can start dealing with the resistance that you're feeling when you have these ideas or you have these things that you want to achieve in your life the sooner that you'll be able to get to a point where you'll start to see things actually happening you know things changing for you opportunities opening for you and that's and when you get to that part that's exciting you know what I'm saying obviously the most exciting part would be the end of the journey but it's all process and the journey is really the key because that's what helps you become the person that you need to become so that you can achieve what it is that you're looking to achieve so that's kind of like the little bit of insight that I got today through that newsletter and again not all newsletters are created equally you know um, some people are just pushing junk but I really like the info that I've always gotten from Daniel De Piazza and um, I continue to read his posts and um, views Instagram and I'll put a link to um, in the description box below so if you want to check his pages out as well um, and see what you what he has that can inspire you that would be great but yeah that's the message that I got today. Hopefully everyone is off to that positive and productive week overcoming the resistance so they can get into that momentum and get into that zone so they can achieve their goals. And um, yeah, like we always do this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.